Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 3. Last time we had, I believe, cleared out the Temple of Mu. It's been a while since I last recorded. I've been kind of down with... Not, not a cold, but I have had like a crazy sore throat for the last couple days, and that's why those of you following this Let's Play as it releases, this is a little bit late. So I think a day, it's going up a day late. Uh, I was just giving my throat some time to rest. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do today, we have a couple options. Do I have a map? I do. Okay. So, we have those killer mushrooms out here that we can investigate. Uh, but... I think what I actually want to do... We're gonna pull some money out of our bank, and we are gonna get a Pathfinder in the party. We have one, I believe. Yes, Devon is one. And I'll probably make Chunk our other one. Uh, and by doing that, we will be able to walk through trees. I'm not going to worry about mountaineering right now. We could learn mountaineering as well, uh, but I think at this point in time, it's not really worth it. Later on, that will open up some stuff for us, but we're still babby adventurers. Uh, let's see, what was it? Sea Dog? Uh, so, our goal right now is just to kind of get the basics, get some of the early areas. Now that we are Crusaders, we can actually... We can go and meet one of the kings, which is the main quest of the game. Uh, we will teach Chunk. Alright, so is he a Pathfinder now? Yes, he is. Awesome. With his thunderous thievery skill of 41, which is really bad. <laughs> Monks aren't nearly as good at thievery as robbers are, and unlike... Uh, Might Magic 2, there are no thieves tools that you can just go out and buy to crank up their skill levels. There are items you can get later in, but they're random drops, and yeah. So we're not going to be planning around any of that. So, yep, yeah, now we can walk through the trees. There's a small bulge in the ground like something is buried under your feet. Dig, yes. Party found identify monster. Sure. Have at it, Rove. There's another one. Wizard Eye. Devon? No. Well, I guess then that's only Rove. Man, it sucks so much not having an archer in the party. Alright, let's... Our Radiance, what is that? Per yep, Personality. So that will buff uh, Gold Leaf actually quite substantially. It cranked up, you can see here, her maximum spell points. Quite a good amount, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Rain Streak Pilgrim's Wagon barely stands on its wheels. Search it. A golden scale sits on the bench. Next to it is a scroll that reads, Place 5,000 gold pieces in the cups of this scale to become a master merchant. Place the gold? No. Uh, much like in the first game, being a merchant is really useful. But when the game is being played by a forgetful ass that is not only forgetful, but also doesn't have the patience to deal with having to, like, move all of his items to the character that's going to sell all the shit. That's a recipe for a bad time. What's here? We have a blank space on the map. Really? There's nothing here? That surprises me. Okay. Fine. Here is, I believe, our magic hut. Yeah, touch the ball. Okay. If I recall correctly... Oh, this is not where I wanted to be, but okay. We have hit points. We might be able to survive these. I can also hit them with some death magic. I think we have a pretty good number of gems. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess we'll hit them with a lightning bolt. Probably overkill. What's up, buddy? Star patterns and charts are carved into the side of the granite head. Drop 5,000 gold pieces into my mouth, and I will teach you the ways of astrology. Nah. What does this one do? Druidic symbols are carved on the sides of this mysterious head. On the forehead is carved Altar of the Seasons. Gem donations accepted. Pray and donate 1,000 gems. No. Absolutely not. We actually need our gems. Oh, that is a lot of you guys. Holy crap, that is a lot of fungus. I'm sure some doctor has said that, and it was decidedly less entertaining than what we just did there. Uh, let's go ahead and get Wizard Eye going again, so everybody can see where we're going. We have a fountain. Sparkling liquid drinks from the small fountain. Sure. Strength! Fuck. That's a lot of strength. I seem to recall these things being very nasty, but 
but I don't know why. Well, we have one. Oh no, bug. Okay, we'll be back. A leak, a leak in the fountains feeds a colony of growing wild fungus spores. Destroy them, yes. The spores explode in a cloud of dust as you kick them with all your might. All right, 5,000 uh, XP there. Hi guys. Did the bugs all oh, the bugs don't actually fly. Oh. I don't even feel bad. What do we have here? An undercurrent of hissing and slithering escapes the dungeon door. Enter. Go ahead and take a pass on that one. At least for now. Oh shit. <sighs> Fucking sprites. As you can see, Rove is now a sad panda. He is cursed. Aw, oh, so is Swell. Okay, we're just gonna, yeah, not, not do that. I have an idea of the progression that I want to take through this game, and that area is not where we want to go now. So can we just, can we just kill these dudes? Oh yeah, we can, alright. Between the fountains and the extra hit points, we're okay killing bugs. I don't know why I had it in my head that these things are so dangerous. Nod bones litter the entrance of this cavern. Enter. No. Okay, we can skirt around the coast. Donate 100 gold to this shrine of pyre and receive a blessing from the burning fire. Donate. No. I think that's just temporary fire resistance. I think that's an ogre. Fucking sprites. <laughs> Immediately giving Rove. I was gonna say, how tough can an ogre be? I bet we can take that. Then Rove went down. What is this? Drop 2,000 gems in my mouth and I will re reveal the pirate's treasure. No. Maybe later. For now, though, we're going to crawl back to town and see if anybody's ready to level and also decurse my party. <sighs> Alright, let's nap. Looks like we only got maybe three people cursed. I think I think Chunk may be cursed. Chunk, are you cursed? Yes, you are. Devon, I can't tell. His face is just so Devon that... I don't know. Come on, levels. Oh, so close. Alright, so the slow levelers are a couple thousand XP away, which... Alright, I'll take it. Let's see... I guess we can... I guess we can go and meet one of the kings. Sure, why not? We're crusaders now. That's one of the things that we are allowed to do. I believe he's actually right down here. The banner of the White Wings waves in the wind, high above the gates of Castle White Shield. Enter? Sure. A stately statue of a royal guard. Read the inscription? Sure. Seek the four warriors, north before south, east before west, subtract the castle's name, and you'll pass the test. Okay. Ah, uh, what was that? What kind of crew does a monster ship have? A skeleton crew! Uh... I have no idea what those are. I think that might be, like, one dude with, like, maybe flails or something. I think they're guards if you try to steal shit. Truly, this is a despairing time in this great land. The powers of the evil one rallied under the banner of the flaming sworder, ever gaining strength. An advantage is hard to be gained, for the King Chaotic chooses to undermine any advances of mine or my foes. You will deliver to me the ultimate power orbs that I may place them in the castle chantry, and the way of the war may once again bend in favor of my army. That's the main quest of this game, essentially. Uh, there are a bunch of these power orbs thrown around, uh, and you choose which of the three alignment kings you give them to, and they give you things in return that essentially let you finish the game. I really want to know what those are. Let's get killed. I don't know if we're going to be powerful enough to fight whatever this is. Seriously? Seriously, guys? Front row! 
My disappointment is immeasurable. Dedicated to Jadel, guardian of purity lost in an expedition through the frozen lands. If I recall correctly, there are caverns under these uh, castles and... God damn it, Chunk. One job. One job! Uh, there are caverns... Yeah... Thieves will be eradicated. Who is the overlord of Castle White Shield? A zealot? Nope. Tried. Yeah, that's that's the password that we'll get for all of these. Which I don't think that we are necessarily ready to go under the castle yet, so we are not going to worry over much about that. I am Prathos, protector of the relics. Many artifacts once arrested in the castle shrine, but they were plundered in the great war of old between the alignments of men. If in your journey you should come across one of our missing artifacts, you will be handsomely rewarded for its return. Merriment and glee fills the hearts of those who sit on the Jester's throne. Have a seat. I'm going to go ahead and pass, because... <laughs> if I had to guess, it's going to make people insane. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess... I guess we can start... We can start mowing the land. Oh, there's something in the trees. Some gauntlets. Ah, uh, what do we got? Bronze. I think bronze were the bad ones, right? Brass was the better ones. Oh, freaking seriously, I just cast Wizard Eye, and then it wears off because of how freaking spell durations in this game work. Alright, that's the, the Unicorn Horn. That's the Pyramid of Maximum Terror. We won't be uh, dealing with that for a while. Oh! Screamers! Oh, no fair. Coming out of left field. Chaos Pass. Magic Zone. Well, I mean, theoretically, I can just walk through the trees, right? That feels like a trap. Mmm, Lunatic Fringe. Oh, I love it. Alright, what's in the trees? A wooden chest with Zingaro markings. Sure. Chunk. Wow, he picked the lock. A grand axe, a helm, a box. We found a box in a box. And a ring, and a hand axe, and 5,000 gold. Alright, anything worth anything. An iron grand axe this is actually a box of useful things. Uh, sure. A steel hand axe. I don't know how that compares. That iron helm eh, is probably an upgrade. I want to kind of pass some stuff down, though. Oh shit, his armor's broken. That's no good. She's using a cutlass. I bet this yeah, this grand axe is better than that. Um, bronze katana. This amber cutlass might be better than that. I don't think it is, though. Poor swell. Going a little. Oh, never mind. Whole party's going fucking ape. All right. Uh, protection from elements. Give me electric. The goal is to keep this dipshit alive. I think he's one point of damage away from dying. So let's, uh, nature's cure him. Wow, up to full health. Nice. I'm honestly not too worried about a bunch of screamers. Like, we were killing these things in, uh, the Baywatch under Croft pretty easily. The wheels of a Zingaro wagon, the wheels of a Zingaro's wagon sink deep into the earth. Step inside? Sure. Many are the dangers that lurk in this forest, many of magical natures. And if you relieve yourself of 100 gems, I will surround you with an aura of magic resistance. Pay? Nah. I got my own magic resistance. Another wagon. Muffled cries of screamers almost ready to hatch barely escape clear egg-like pods that hang from the roof of the wagon. Destroy them? Oh yes. The sound of cracking and crunching fills the wagons as screamer pods burst on the wooden floor. 10,000 XP. <laughs> and fucking... Oh, he better have gotten that. Okay, he did. I was gonna be super salty. Apparently, the act of breaking those screamer pods was just too much for poor Swell's heart to bear. And the pods weren't the only things that burst. He was... Is this the temple? No. 
Can we sleep without people dying? Yes. Wonderful. All right. Swell, you're costing me money, my friend, and I do not like that. All right. Let's go ahead and level these two, and everybody else is still... Oh! Chunk's ready to level. God, it's crazy how much XP popping traps, and that's thieves. I mean, I guess... I guess it's okay, because otherwise they're, like, not super amazing, really. Like, they, like knights are really good fighters. Paladins can do a little bit of healing in addition to being okay fighters. And thieves just open chests. 100 gold, or 1,000 gold, 100 gems, not bad. I don't know if, I don't think... Uh, ninjas in this have the insta-kill mechanic that they had in Mind Magic 2 that made them so good. Oh. Sir Shippet. Many a night have I trained these past 20 seasons. My program enhances strength and endurance. Will you train with me? 10,000 gold is the fee. I'm gonna pass on that. Uh, it probably gives us, like, Arms Master or something. Oh, and I think Chunk is diseased. You'd be in need of a remedy for venomous brew. I have a secret combination of roots and berries that will remove poison from your body. For 100 gold, I will heal you. Now nah, we're good. Don't need it that badly. Hundreds of infant bats tremble and squeak as you enter the wagon. From the depth of the guano littered floor, the wagon has been used as a breeding ground for some time. Destroy the wagon? Yeah, okay. Glowing embers rise into the sky as the burning wagon collapses on itself with a thunderous crash. Man, we are the worst murder hobos. The door is locked and you don't have the key. A shiny telescope peeks out the window of the shack. Enter? Sure. Captain Squib. The shack is filled with sextants, compasses, and charts. A seasoned sailor looks up from studying at his astrolabe. Hello, mate. There's often a ship set sail for the ports of Swamp Town. If you like, I can sign you up for passage. 2,000 gold be the crossing fee. Pay? No, we're good. Goddamn- wow, look at Rove. That dude is ready to pop. Sir Pullman. Allow me to introduce myself. Sir Pullman, jousting instructor extraordinaire. With a fee of 1,000 gold pieces, I will instruct you in the intricacies of my sport. You will find your your accuracy bettered. Line up for a lesson. This, I think we are actually going to want to do, and I'm actually going to take it three times. Yes. Let's see. It's an accuracy of 13. I don't know what it was at base. Be gone, vampire bat! Okay, that, that got us a point. I wonder if you can... I wonder if that's just a permanent stat boost, like you just get a point every time you pay him a thousand gold. If that's the case, that could be pretty good. Chunk, pick the damn lock. Let's find out. We just got a bunch of miscellaneous crap. Alright, so can we, can we do this again? Oh, we totally can. A thousand gold for a stat, that's actually not a bad trade, I don't think. Ooh, a pearl trident. That's actually probably a pretty good weapon. A silver shield. That is a very good shield. Bronze spell longsword. I think that might give you some spell points. Eh, wand of jumping. Sure, we'll keep that. A pearl trident. Steel. No, I do not want to remove those. I want to give those to somebody else. Uh, I don't suppose. Ah! This Pearl Trident is a good weapon, damn it. I think the Iron Grand Axe is probably better, or I'd give it to uh, Gold Leaf, or not Gold Leaf, Brunhilda. AC at 20. Not bad at all. Yeah, we're, we're slowly getting there with regards to the gear upgrades. They come with time. If you want, you can actually cheese chests in this, because uh, the loot you get from them is randomly generated, and so you save before you open them, and then if you open them, you get different things until you get what you want. I... no. <laughs> 
This is Rings Are Us. A precious relic I have to sell. A ring that was enjoyed a lineage of owners from kings to lords to warriors. It is rumored that one of ten heroes of the great battle once wore it. One thousand gold is all I ask. No, we're good. Surrender to me ten of your magical gemstones to receive my remedy for insanity. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> Chunk and Devon still fucked. And I guess Rove too, but nobody cares about Rove. Oh hey, spiders. That animation for them is... Freaks me out, man. Do they come through the trees? I bet they do. Yeah, they do. You fuckers. Squicking me right out. Oh, damn it. Rove, I need you alive. That you can cast death magic, please. There's a growing horde. God damn, look at Brunhilda. She gets poisoned and her just her neck swells. It's horrifying. Lightning bolts are pretty good. Seriously, get the fuck out of here. This place is no fun at all. Woo! I saw that chest hiding. Nice try, loot. Alright, let's- Oh, Chunk went down. Oh no, that was Devon. I'm so used to Chunk being in that fourth slot that it being somebody else is... is fucking with me like so many other things. Alright, there we go. All of our money blown on curatives. Damn it, Rove. Let's see, where is the ship store? We are going to vendor some stuff here. Uh, let's see, sell these, sell that, what does this thing actually do? Plus four spell points, yeah. Eh. It, it, if it were made of a material that wasn't bronze, I would maybe consider having Swell use it. But as it stands, no. So let's see here, how does this katana look two and then two to ten? Alright, so the, the the cutlass is better. The trident is also better. Let's see if he can use the trident. If he can use the trident, I'm gonna have him use the trident. The end goal is to get him like a Naginata of some sort. Hey, look at that. But I'm in obviously no hurry for that. The game will give you enough shit over just playing it that in the grand scheme of things. Like, not having perfect gear and stuff is not... It's not worth the effort to put in to, like, sit there and cheese the, the spawning of things from chest. Leather armor of holy bonuses. Jesus Christ. Plate armor is tempting. Uh, potion of heroism is also very tempting. But I think we are actually in pretty good shape. How are we looking on food? Six days, plenty. And we've got almost a thousand gems, very nice. But I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So as per usual folks, thank you for watching, hope you all had a good time, and I will see you all next time, wherein the adventure continues. Until then. <laughs>